This Thursday will mark the 31st commemoration of the National Resistance Movement Liberation Day. The Minister for the Presidency in the Ugandan Cabinet, Esther Mbulakubuza Mbayo, speaking to the press earlier today at the Uganda Media Center, noted that 200 are set to be awarded. Amongst these are Uganda National Roads Authority, the health sector, security sector, that is to say police and the army, Talo Oil Company, among others. The theme for this year's celebrations is Uganda's success story under NRM, NRA leadership is shared victory. Togetherness has been a key strategy since the Bush War days and it will remain so for our future development. The entire NRM leadership under John, John, General Yoe Kabutam 7 dedicates this victory to you all the Ugandans. The National Resistance Movement has held Uganda's leadership mantle for 31 years and believes there is a lot to celebrate as per their leadership and addressing Ugandans' challenges such as poverty and corruption that have stagnated national development. Before 1986, one would be arrested for having even a small bottle of PPF opening in the house. The biggest challenge in this health sector today, however, is the high demand for quality services, some sections of the population would love health services comparable to those in Europe and USA, forgetting the historical circumstances that have, that have given rise to our nation and to those nations. On January 26, 1986, the National Resistance Army ousted a government that had represented years of corruption, civil rights offences and alleged voter fraud. This report is by Aloysius Satwine for Urban TV.